All right, class, we're going to be working on multi-step equations. Or we're going to give you some examples here so you can try it on your own afterwards. First example, x plus 4 equals 7. The goal of multi-step equations is to solve for the missing for the variable in the problem. In this case, x variable is uh, basically a letter that represents a number. So how we're, we're adding a 4 to the x. In order to cancel out the 4, we have to subtract 4 from both sides. We get that x equals 3. And this is a solution for that one. All right, that's the first one, that's a single step. Another single step equation, 2x equals 10. In this case, we're multiplying the 2 and the x together. So the opposite of multiply is divide. So divide both sides by 2, we get x equals 5. Okay. Uh, then one more single step before going into the multi. x divided by 3 equals 7. In this case, the x is being divided by 3. Opposite of divide is multiply. So multiply both sides by 3. These cancel out, and you get that x is 21. So these are single step examples. We're going to go over a multi step example now. 4x minus 1 equals 6 over 5. All right, so here is the multi step example 4x minus 1 over 5 equals 6. Uh, first thing we have to do is since we're dividing this whole thing by 5, we want to cancel that out, so we multiply both sides by 5. And we get 4x minus 1 equals 30. Then in front of this parentheses where the x is at, there's a times 4. You want to divide both sides by 4 to cancel that out. And we get x minus 1 equals, you plug that into your calculator and you would get 7.5. Okay, and then we would add one, and we get that x equals 8.5. So these are single step examples, and eventually you combine the ideas together to solve a multi-step example. You just have to decide which one goes first. Since division was the big operation here, I canceled that out first, then I canceled out the multiplication by four by dividing by four, and I canceled out the addition by 